I work hard every day. I wake up every day and I go to work. I wake up every night and I go to work. I try not to sleep. I try to work more. And it's only because I'm young. It's not because I'm a workaholic. I believe that when you're young, you're, you're obligated to work. And then when you get to an age that you feel like you're not young anymore, that's what you work for. Now, Wayne, tell the little brothers and sisters that's watching about the work ethic, about what goes into it. Because oftentimes we see the public sees partying, having a good time, dancing, but they have not a clue what's going on the other 23 hours of the day. Please tell them how important that is. Well, first of all, it shows off in, in the partying and in, the, in your music and in, your, in your, your, your craft and all that. If you're not working every single day, if you're not working at least as much as you should work, to me it shows off. It shows off to y'all. And that's what's important, and I believe that y'all, that's, that's what's most important anyway. So that's why I work so hard anyway, and I put that in my artists to work so hard, because the first thing they say about us when we read any article, when they, they work hard. Mm -hmm. uh, Lil Wayne, he works every, and that's what you want your fan, that's what you want the fan to like anyway. Yes. He's working, he, he ain't working for him, because he's already got what he need. He's doing this for us. That's right, baby. Yeah. Y'all been asking for it, man, and fuck it, I'm going to give it to y'all. These are my top five rappers of all time. We got Sean Corey Carter, Jay-Z, number one. We got Nasir Jones, number two. We got Aubrey Drake Graham at number three. We got Christopher Wallace at number four. And God damn it, I'm going to just have to give it to him. We got Kendrick Lamar Duckworth at number five. Those are the top five rappers of all time to me. I love Wayne. I fucking love Wayne. I got Wayne in my top ten, man, but he ain't top five. And I know for a lot of you 90s babies, y'all about to be pissed the fuck off. And I don't give a fuck. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. And right here we got Lil Wayne saying, I try not to sleep. I really, really like what he says here. The reason being is because I think people don't understand how much work and effort and energy goes into trying to accomplish your dreams. If you're somebody who's trying to make it in the music business, you're somebody who's trying to make it in the music industry or any sort of entrepreneurial endeavor, you got to have a work ethic you've never had before. Any athlete who has played at junior varsity, varsity, or even a collegiate level, you had to really bust your ass to get to that point. When you're an entrepreneur, you got to go past that threshold of what you did as an athlete. Anybody who has been a very good student academically, if you got a 3.8, 3.9, 4.0 GPA, what you graduated with, if you want to do an entrepreneurial endeavor, you got to go past that threshold of what you did to get those good grades. Same thing with anybody who studied for the LSAT or the MCAT or any sort of professional endeavor when you are an entrepreneur everything falls on you this entire business your entire livelihood is on you you have to work endlessly for years and not get paid it is a job where you get criticized all the time and the praise is few and far between you got to be mentally ready for that if you work in the music business you can compound the fact that you're going to get criticized, the price is few and far between, when people talking shit in your comments all the fucking time, or people in your life telling you that you're not going to make it. It takes a special individual. Lil Wayne's work ethic is probably the greatest in the history of music. Not just hip-hop, but in the history of music. I think him and Tupac are probably right there, neck and neck, and I might put Drake in there too, but Lil Wayne is the hardest working man in the history of music. He says, I try to sleep. I used to think like that. You can't do that. You got to rest absolutely got to rest. I know I got a lot of teenagers watching this or people in their 20s right now. You're not where you want to be in your life and you think that you have to not rest. That doesn't do anything for you. When you're sleepy, I don't care how focused you are. I don't care how good you feel like you are when you're sleepy. I don't care what kind of state of flow you get into when you're sleepy. You're not at your sharpest. You're unhealthy. You're not taking care of yourself. You absolutely have to rest. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody fucking sleeps. Everybody. Even my ass. I sleep four, five, six, seven hours a day. You got to. So don't think that you don't have to sleep. Because you gotta remember too, Wayne is not a sober nigga. And especially at the time when he made this video. You know what I mean? So don't think that you just gotta be this fucking zombie. But the work ethic is something that I think y'all really, really don't get. It is something that no one prepares you for, nothing that life has prepared you for. You gotta be mentally prepared to work on this for 24, 36 months, and you ain't gonna see a fucking dime. Have you ever done that with a job? You ever worked a job for two years, three years, and not made no money? That's what being an entrepreneur is. See, in the music business, not people don't make it because they're not talented. They don't make it because they don't fucking want to work hard at it. This shit's fucking difficult. Extremely. Are you somebody that works really hard? 
if you got work ethic, you can make it in this shit. You can start doing your music full time, but you have to be mentally prepared to go as far as you possibly can, regardless of what anybody else says. If you're one of those people, click that link in the bio. If you're on Instagram, click the link in the description box. If you're on YouTube and purchase one of our packages for 60% off right now. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. And I knew that I need you from the get go. And I knew that I needed more than singles. And I knew that I needed more than pesos. I need to make it rain like a Nino. My pockets ain't slim like Carlos. And I need a mama see the hood. I'm never take a breather. And you're not a better cheater. Cause she better know. But show. Better not stand when I clap your way.